Hello guys, welcome to 3ds Max News. This is the month of April. We will start with a new thing in particles. The particle system for 3ds Max is the version 6 drop 9. The biggest feature is that now we have time independent dynamic sets. It allows us to load caches way faster because it's only reading the specific frame. We have post cache dynamic sets. Shape collision is a dynamic solver of thinking particles. Now it's all nodal, so you can adjust all values procedurally. You have new hero cloth cuts. Cloth behavior has been improved. There is a new SPH solver with an improved foam. There are a lot of UI improvements. You can do the menu wider, you can group nodes, you can auto expand, close it inputs and outputs that will make your life way easier. On my other channel, I have a tutorial covering some of these news. And as well, on effective technical directors, I have a complete course in Thinking Particles. I did it with Drop9 and 3ds Max 2021, but you can use every older version, covering all the basics until an advanced uh, use of Thinking Particles. It's totally focused on thinking particles, but I will share a lot of tips and tricks with 3ds Max that I use on my day-to-day -day work on movies. Chaos Group did a teaser for V-Ray 5 Beta for 3ds Max. Normally it starts with 3ds Max and then will roll out to all the other apps. But we have right now a new material library, new redesign frame buffer, new light and mix. If you know Corona or Maxwell, they had a light mixer for a while. Now it's introduced into V-Ray. There are a layer compositor and you have other cool stuff like V-Ray UV randomizations. So if you want to try it before everyone, you can join the beta right now. Chaos Group created a new version of V-Ray and Phoenix. It's called V-Ray Collection and it's aimed for educators and students. Basically, you will have all V-Rays, include the 3ds Max, and all Phoenix, include the 3ds Max version, and you can use it, and it will cost only $149. New Arnold and new Max 2A, and we had different new stuff inside. One of my favorites is being able to import sequences in Alembic. Until now, we was not able to do that. 3ds Max doesn't allow for sequence in Alembic, so you had no choice. You had to use external products. In V-Ray, you had your own, but I always wanted to do that. This is a sequence that is coming from our program Storm to simulate all types of dynamics. I imported with an Alembic sequence, and as you can see, it loads totally well with all types of motion blur. You can as well import, in this case, I'm importing points. It will not display on viewport the points. There is no match data, it's only points. But if you switch to rendering, you will be able to render spheres. And it's spheres with motion blur. You are able to change the size. You need to remember to turn off and on the active shade every time that you do that. If not, it's not getting registered, but it works uh, great. So. Finally, I am able to import my simulations directly into Arnold, that is great. A new feature as well is AOVs. In the AOVs, you can use tokens, and that's great. So instead of writing every name, you can add tokens, like the file name, like the camera name. So every time that you switch camera, automatically, you will not need to change the name of the camera or the name of the scene. It will be registered. USD as well has been improved to version 19.11 with new features. You can import all types of scenes that are already existing, like this one, it's a scene from a kitchen, and you can render directly in 3ds Max. It works totally fine, you can see the scene description. You cannot manipulate too much data right now, I hope that will come, and as well 3ds Max on the roadmap they, had, they are implementing USD in 3ds Max itself. But Arnold has his own implementation, and as you can see right now, you can use it and load all types of USD products. Now you can as well export USDs. So on the file as before you was able to save as as, now you can save as well as or USD formats and export your scenes to any other software. Other improvements on max 2 a is support for MIG tangent space baking normals, you can bake normals based on projection. And on the Arnold side, we had a lot of improvements on GPU. You are able to use OSTL textures and different speeds improvements. If you want to test USD, David L'Esperance created a very cool scene. It's done originally in 3ds Max and they use it to test Omniverse and the USD to move it to different platforms. So you can um, 
you can download this asin for free it's on the nvidia page you will have the link below people are sharing a lot of osl shaders on the osl shaders group zap create this stainless uh, brush metal anisotropic uh, kind of osl and looks great for all these types of effects uh, you have as well different osls created by chang so eun create a system to break the tiling of the image and as well zap create this moon facing system so basically you import any type of image of the moon and it will create the different states uh, of a state of art create on his webpage multiple articles covering different osl and are very well written tutorials in this case it's color correct but you will see hdri lights and a lot of new osl nodes in 2021 and as well some of the older ones and it's very cool way to see how it works comparisons between render and the osl on viewport and different stuff that you can do with it and ideas very didactic and really good guillermo leal released finally eevee it's the eevee generator for 3ds max replacing the old one that is not anymore supported and it will work from 2018 to 2020 it's free by donation new versions of forest pack and Raid clone mostly to get support for max 2021 the big new thing on rail clone is that on the light version the one that it's free now has way less limitations you will be able to convert to edit poly and you will be able to use splines that are not flat so you can use a free version for much more things as well remember the glue spline offset and clone that they are totally free you can use the 2020 versions totally fine in the 2021 simply copy the 2020 files in the 2021 folder of max they will work because max 2021 doesn't break compatibility so you will be fine spline dynamics has a new small update for sub splines allowing to copy paste different ids between splines the guys from HDRI Heaven create 3D model Heaven, basically the same Creative Commons license. A lot of PBR models with textures, uh, great models. They are free, you can support them by donation. Shang So Eun updated his free PRB render, some fixes, and as well now with animation render support. Voxel Remesh from Polydesign. It costs $59, and basically it's a remesher. You will be able to do all types of booleans. You can convert any type of meshes. Doesn't matter the topology of it, only that it needs to be water closed. If not, the will not be able to create the volume. But doesn't matter how bad the mesh it is. It will create a clean and nice and a high res uh, geometry that you can use to bake then to do your low res uh, topology. And the demo reel of the month goes for Blur Studio. Blur Studio is from santa monica la they create all types of cinematics for video games they as well create some movies they did some series the love death robots from netflix and yeah they are always pushing for incredible graphics and animations and yeah it's always pushing for improve the standards they have been using a lot uh, 3ds max a lot of softwares but historically has been a 3ds max house and yeah, I think that it totally deserves to be the demo reel of the month. PGCAM is a free script from Powell Jurelak. And basically it allows you with a short key to open a menu and with the, with the mouse wheel be able to switch across cameras and being able to select and move and jump to the camera in question. And Typeflow as well, multiple new improvements during this month. The most important maybe it's physics CUDA enabled so you can use your GPU to simulate. You have a birth skeleton, super useful to create skeletons from trees or whatever, a really smart uh, system. Then we have hair operators to play with ornatrix and different bean types for new types of bind binding. Uh, it's coming as well, new physics for splines, as you can see on the screen. And 
as usual, a lot of cool stuff done with birth skeleton for different artists, a lot of cool creative examples from everyone using Typeflow. And more developers joining 3ds Max. For the rendering team, Kunait Osdas was a well-known developer back then for the Brazil uh, alt renderer, but really popular. I really enjoyed using it from Splutterfish. And as well, he worked with Crytek and a lot of other companies and will come help on the rendering side of 3ds Max. Don't miss the 3DS London meetup that now it's online. It will be the 6th of May and you will have a lot of presenters. You can see it here. Uh, Christophe Lev from Bottleship, for example, will present some of his work that they do with 3ds Max, Thinking Particles and other software. So that's all for the month of April. Thank you a lot. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a like, give a comment. I love comments. Uh, share this video with your friends. And thank you a lot to all my Patreons. It helps really. Uh, a small donation helps for me to keep doing this video. So please consider doing it. And yeah, guys, see you soon. Bye.